Hey, what's up Aquamigos? Welcome back to the Koi Pond Saga. This is where we left off in my last video. In case you missed it, we attached the air diffuser to the check valve in the middle of the bottom drain, and today's video is taking place the following day, and we will be filling the pond with water. Hey, what's up Aquamigos? It's the next day now and it's drizzling a little bit outside, so I'll switch to the GoPro in a second. But one thing I wanted to mention is that after I screwed on the top of the bottom drain, I noticed an issue. Um, maybe I'll make a separate video about that or I'll talk about it later at the end of this video. But I actually noticed an issue where I think that there's actually a problem with the threading on the inside of the top of the bottom drain. But yeah, let's go outside now and we're gonna get the pond liner sorted out. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's already raining and I actually had to get inside the pond to sort out the wrinkles in the liner while my dad pulled the liner from the outside of the pond. Once again, big shout out to my dad for helping me out with this. We also cut off some more of the excess pond liner. And in case you didn't know, this is a RPE liner. Most people seem to use EPDM liners, but RPE liners are extremely difficult to get to fit right. The goal with the liner was to smoothen out what we could and make the appropriate folds in the liner where we needed to. And finally, we started filling the pond with water. Hey, what's up guys? So the pond's pretty much been filling up all afternoon. So we already turned the water off and it's, it's just at about the point below the cinder block wall. I didn't want to fill it up too much because there's a good chance that I'll probably have to drain this again. But yeah, check it out. I know it's getting a little dark, but if you look closely, the water line is just about, the water line's just about right there. One thing that I am aware of is that I did not use a gallon hose counter to count how many gallons of water that is. And honestly, I would have done that, but I just didn't have the gallon hose counter. I didn't order one yet. It was kind of the last thing on my mind because we were kind of really trying to get to this point before we got a lot of rain. Next week, we're going to have rain almost every single day. And I'm sure as some of you guys remember, the last time we got a lot of rain, it kind of eroded the walls of my pond. The water seeped underground and it eroded some of the walls in my pond and it created a lot of extra work for me. So this time we have the pressure of the water supporting those walls. Hey, what's up Aquamigos? So it's actually a few weeks later and I want to give you guys a look at the pond now. As you'll see now, the pond is pretty much completely full. After that last clip that you saw, we pretty much had rain straight for like three weeks or so. The pond used to only be filled up to like the ground level below the cinder block wall. Now it's pretty much at the very top of the cinder block wall. It's almost overflowing and that's all just from the rain. The next Next step for the pond is going to be installing the skimmer and I'm actually going to wait to do that until next week because this weekend we're actually going to have rain again and I don't want to start messing with that until the rain passes. And I'll go ahead and put up a drawing I did of how exactly I'm going to install the skimmer but what I'm thinking is I'm going to have to drain the pond so that it's below the retaining wall again and then from this side I'm going to have to tunnel underneath the footing of the wall so I can have the two inch pipe for the skimmer going through. There's going to be a flange in the liner. I'm going to have the PVC pipe coming out of the liner and up to the skimmer. So yeah, I'm going to have to drain a bit of water to be able to do that. And the reason I'm waiting until after the rain is because just in case something goes wrong, which I hope nothing will go wrong, but just in case I run into an issue while installing that skimmer, I won't have to worry about the rain messing things up while I'm figuring out how to fix that. And I'll go ahead and show you guys some underwater footage of inside the pond. And when it comes to that issue I was talking about with the bottom drain, I'll go ahead and make a separate video on that. I ended up reaching out to the company that I bought the bottom drain from, and I spoke to them over the phone. I'll go ahead and make a, a whole video just on that. All right guys, so I had to come inside because it was getting too
too windy outdoors. But for my Aqua Amigo spotlight for today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to Luis Da Silva. Luis has been a huge supporter of the channel for a long time. Thank you so much, Luis. I really appreciate the support. So anyways, guys, I'm not going to be filming any pond videos until after the rain passes. I might record a few Aqua Amigos videos that are not related to the pond, maybe like some aquarium videos or something like that. But as usual, guys, if you did like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button if you'd like to see more of my pond build progress. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.